and we made our way to one of the most spectacular casinos here on the Las Vegas Boulevard and it's always nice to meet somebody who's different and we got Rocco how are you? Rocco doing wonderful what about you? I'm really delicious because being here makes you feel great it makes you feel alive and you're a gondolier you get to sing all day and entertain people do you ever get tired of smiling? Never. <laughs> it's good to see you and uh, congratulations on this. It is unbelievable that you can be in the middle of a desert and in the middle of a river with a gondolier. Explain what's going on around us. Well, we are we open every day at 10 o'clock. We start giving rice. We're going back and forth. We sing. We make people happy. We are Italians. We are here in this beautiful hotel called the Venetian and we're happy to be here. And of course, the thing about the casino is it's always daytime. It's never dark because whether you're here at 2 in the morning or 2 in the afternoon, it looks the same. It's always the same. We keep it open and we all have fun and we sing all day long. No matter what time of the day you come here, we'll be singing for you and we'll making you happy. Did you ever dream that all those years ago you'd end up in the Venetian in Las Vegas doing this? Definitely not. I, I got to Vegas in 1994 and then I saw the opportunity when they opened the Venetian in 1999. And I always want to be a gondolier. I was born in Italy and Rome is a place called Città Vecchia, Provincia de Roma. And I'm here for almost nine years working at the Venetian. How do you end up then from there to Las Vegas? Well, it was a little trip to New York first and then to Las Vegas. When I, uh, I applied as a singing gondolier for the Venetian, I was accepted and, and it's been an amazing nine years. So what do you need to be then to get this job? Because I'm seeing nobody who looks like me on the gondoliers. You've got to be good looking, you've got to be fit, you've got to have a great voice, is that right? Definitely, you have to be a good singer, you have to be Italian, and you have to be ready to entertain every day, day and night. And presumably talk to anybody and everybody. Yes, we do. You have to talk to everybody and people from all over the world. Because that's what we do. We take people from China to India to Wisconsin, <laughs> England, <laughs> And we, we get along, everybody. And you must see things, you must hear things, um, you must be quite discreet because you don't want to go gossiping about people. Ah, uh, yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> and of course, it's a very romantic thing to do. Um, people who just get married come on the gondolas, do they? Yes, they do, and we have a lot. And we also have a wedding gondola when do actually perform the wedding on the gondola. And that's pretty much one of the biggest attractions here at the Venetian. So if you want to get married, Come to the Venetian. So are you telling me then, ladies in wedding dresses, big fancy frocks, go in the little gondolas and, and get married? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Every day, seven days a week. And we had our minister and they get married and they're all happy. We sing for them. And it's a beautiful ceremony through the canal, back and forth. And how long do you get when you go on the ride? I know it's a huge queue of people waiting right now to, to get a trip on one of the gondolas. How long does it take to go around? It's about 14 minutes approximately, the gondola ride, since beginning to end. And we do probably about maybe three, four songs as requests. Right? We have many different requests. Songs from Neapolitan songs, classical songs, happy songs, uh, popular Italian songs. So you have to know everything then? You have to know a lot of songs, Italian songs. I'm guessing Ness and Dorma and Osolo Mio are two of the most popular. Oh, Puccini. <laughs> Giacomo Puccini. Ness and Dorma from the Opera Tarundo. That's one of the best, the greatest uh, songs. And I do, I sing that sometimes more than twice a day as request. Terrific. I might request that at the end because I love that song as well. Now, the thing about this, this isn't Disney where you're on some kind of track and you're just there for effect. You really are the captain of your ship, aren't you? Yes, we do. We have to be, uh, we have to be in, we have to be on. Um, in our best condition to drive the gondolas. The gondolas are about 36, uh, 36 feet long, 900 pounds. They're heavy. And uh, it, is, it is difficult. You get used to, but uh, it's a very good workout. And I've seen people in America, you can get some 900 pound people as well. So that makes it double heavy. Uh, yes, but well, <laughs> sometimes we got some people who just uh, overload the gondola, but we work, we work <laughs> on it. You know? We let it go by itself. And, and you never turn anybody away? No, ever, ever. And this is remarkable. Let's explain what we're looking at. I mean, we could be in the center of anywhere sexy and romantic and gorgeous because it's so beautiful and everything's so clean. It is, it definitely is uh, the greatest casino on the strip. No doubts about it. It is have more details than you can ever imagine. You have to come here and see it. 
and for you on. So you discover how beautiful, how amazing it is, the Venetian. And you're right there because I can't do justice. I mean, it is like Venice. I mean, I just walked through the atrium with the globe and it's so beautifully done. They really didn't spare any money to make this as amazing as it is. A couple of billions. <laughs> uh, it is incredible. You come here and you feel like you are in the heart of Venice. That's all the feeling. You had uh, performing through all some Mar Square to the Palazzo and the gondolas. It's just such a good environment for the whole family to come and enjoy in the Venetian. Now, I know you're happy to, to ride the ladies around on your beautiful gondolas. What if they fall in love with you and want to take you home with them? I'll take it to the Venetian Hotel. <laughs> 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 and Mary. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. So that's all right then. Would you be kind enough to indulge me for a moment and give me a little song as we leave the Venetian here with the gondolas and say thank you very much to Rocco. Thank you for talking to me. Welcome. L'aurora di bianco vestita, caro ciò di ciù di al gran sol, di ghiaco le roe sue dita, carezza di fiori lo stol, menci anche tu la vesti bianca, che ci di loro ci ho al tuo canto, obei don sei la luce bianca, obei tu sei non ci d'amor. Goodbye from Venice. Thank you, Rocco. You're very welcome.